Bill Morrison for the U.S. Heavyweight Crown. Sam Smith and Joe Corley call the action. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our main event scheduled for nine rounds. At stake, the PKA United States Super Heavyweight Championship. In the blue corner, he's from Stanley, North Carolina, 29 years old, 6 foot 3, 210 pounds, contact karate record of 7 wins, 4 losses, number 3 in the world. Let's welcome to Merrillville, the challenger, gentleman Bill Morrison. <laughs> And in the red corner, from Gary I N D, 30 years old, 6 foot 5, 239 pounds, 18 wins, 4 losses, number one in the world, the United States Super Heavyweight Champion, high five to Big Star Jackson! So is John Jackson along with Bill Morrison are both introduced by our ring announcer again, Tommy Williams. Our referee, as usual in these big fights, is the man that knows J.T. Will. Reminder, make sure you keep your kicks above the waist. In the case of a knockdown, I'll direct the standing fighter to a neutral corner. You'll stay there until I call you back. When I say break, make sure you break clean, step back. Do not hit or kick your opponent after I say break because there will be a foul. Do not hit or kick your opponent if it's on the floor. There's no holding, no clinching. I will only warn you twice after that. It will be a point deduction, so don't waste valuable points for holding. This is a U.S. title fight. The three knockdown rules automatically waived. Shake hands. We'll begin with the bow. So as the instructions by J.T. Will are given to both of the fighters in the blue corner. Again will be Bill Morrison of Stanley, North Carolina. That's the challenger. And the champion of the United States in the super heavyweight division, Big John Jackson of Gary, Indiana. Joe Corley, what can we expect? Just what we see here to start with, I guess. Seems to me like both men are going to want to try to control center ring early if they can. That's a slip as real by J.T. Well, he's up. Morrison catches the champion with a left hand. Followed it with a good right, and Jackson is shaken on the rope. What a surprise. We oh. said that Jackson could be hurt inside. We said that Morrison could hurt him inside. Morrison with another left hand. He's got the champion reeling, and he's down. The count is at five. The champion is out. We have a new United States Super Heavyweight Champion, Phil Morrison. A first round knockout over the current champion, Big John Jackson. Phil Morrison said he had the power to knock John Jackson out, and he did it. What a punching power by Morrison. He slipped in two left hands that just had the dynamite in their fists. And there was a great deal of concern for John Jackson down on the canvas. As he is being completely inundated with people, they're trying to get him away now. Let's go back to the action very shortly here in the round one and watch the action here, Morrison. Jackson came around with a spinning kick. Morrison, with good timing there, landed high on the head with the left hand. Same shot, another angle, good timing. You see Jackson's force of his body moving forward ran right into Bill Morrison's left hand. He went down the first time, the second time it was all over. We had hoped to bring in, of course, the world champion Anthony Elmore, but it didn't last long enough. Let's watch it. That's the left that did the damage. Right on target, John Jackson was not completely clear from before as he went down. He actually hit his head fairly hard on the floor on his way down. A lot of weight falling forth. Same shot, different angle, left hand straight in glanced off the head you couldn't quite see how solid it landed from that particular angle but those left hands of Bill Morrison were powerful John Jackson was surprised from the first moment that the first punch landed Jackson tried to come out take the initiative in the fight Morrison just waded through a couple of left right combinations by Jackson and a powerful left hand once again by Bill Morrison